Alrighty, now we're at Ostagar. I tried activating or reinstalling one of my texture mods because things were looking a little muddy on that previous round. So if it looks better, it means I actually succeeded. Everything's boarded up. Anything shiny for me? Blah, 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 blah. Kind of a shithole, but all right. Doesn't have to be pretty as long as it gets the job done. Hail, you must be the Grey Warden recruit that Duncan brought. Hello, sad guard. This place hasn't seen such bustle in centuries, I'll wager. Need a hand getting anywhere? Uh, sure. Where is Duncan's tent? Not far. It's straight ahead, just past the royal encampment. Most of your fellas are in the valley with the army but the recruits seem to be staying up here for now. Uh, where the hell is Alistair? Try heading north. I think he was sent with a message to the mages. Oh, tell me about Ostagar. Used to be a fortress a long time ago, so I understand. Back in the days when the Wilders used to invade the lowlands. You were just on the eastern side of the ruin. The Tower of Ishal is there, but Tern Loganes closed it off until the battle. This side is the King's Camp. We've got the Grey Wardens here, the Circle of Magi, the Chantry. You can't swing a dead cat without hitting somebody important. Swinging dead cats, got it. This is Ferelden, isn't it? The king uh -oh. has his kennels on the west side of camp. Stinks from all the hounds. These aren't cute puppies, though. Some of those dogs bite the dark spawn and get too much of that blood in them. It's like poison. Slow, painful death. Terrible. Uh, mages? A few mages, yes. They even brought those creepy quiet fellows, the Tranquil. Gives me the shivers when they talk, all cold and even. They're to the north of here, bunched up with a herd of Templars glaring at them. Can't miss it. And Captain Goldpants? Probably in his tent. He and Tern Loghain are on the southwest side of the camp. The king likes to spend time with his soldiers, though. Sometimes even without his bodyguards. Drives Tan Loghain wild, that does. <laughs> Until we kill him, and then the problem takes care of itself. Quartermaster, he's just a bit to the northwest. Cool. Uh, I guess I could ask Go you on, something then. else. No. Good no. luck to you, then. Thank you, sad guard. Alright, what do we got here? Got Alistair up there. Exclamation point. On all on my bloody map. Alright, let's roll. Let's do a little circle. Hello. Greetings. King Kalen is not in his tent right now. I'm just gonna saunter right up and use my womanly charms. I suppose I do. Though he's spending most of his time with the Grey Wardens. He rides with them wherever they go, in fact. Terran Loghain sees the King whenever he can and argues with him over coming battles. But the King just waves him off. The King wants to end the Blight with a single huge battle the Bards will sing of for centuries. Do you think that's possible? Uh, maybe. I thought Grey Wardens knew all about the Darkspawn. The King thought it was funny that Terran called him reckless. And they fought about the Queen. Whoa, when I said just persuade, tell me more about the king, I didn't mean, like, unload the whole high school drama here. To the Terran's daughter, no less. He wasn't happy about something she did or the king did, I'm not sure. I probably shouldn't discuss it. Gossip! 
Yeah, I'm out. Bye. As you wish. Uh, what's up here? Look carefully, man. This wretched thing is a dark spawn. They're strong and cunning and smart, but don't listen to those old wives' tales. They can be killed. Stick them with your sword enough, and they go down. Their blood is black as sin and poisonous. Don't even touch it. You get tainted with that blood, and you may as well slit your throat. We've lost <laughs> many dogs already. Had to muzzle them to keep them from biting. It's a long and painful way to die. Uh, didn't you hear? There's a cure for that. There are lots of dogs spawned, different kinds. We're getting reports of things we've never even heard of. Our short friend here, for instance, is something called a genlog. They're pretty common in the horde, but we've seen others much larger. We don't know where these new darkspawn are coming from or what they can do. All I can say is to use caution. There aren't any we've seen that won't die once they bleed enough. Alrighty. This is supposed to be the battle that sends these darkspawn back underground. You believe that? I do not. What do we got over here? A couple of people praying. The all before me is darkness, yet shall the Maker's light be my guide. Hi, ever. Blessed are they who stand before the corrupt and the wicked, and do not falter. Are we praying to the mountain? Just anywhere in particular? Right, a fancy vase. Look great in my camp that I will never see again. All right. We should see a decisive victory. Yeah, this does look way better. Whatever I did, go me. Or actually, thank you very much to Improved Atmospheres and JB Textures Three and all, all the other awesome people. Stopped immediately. What are you, a bunch of natural fishwives spreading gossip until you brown your small clothes out of terror? <laughs> We've seen nothing to suggest that the Darkspawn drag our people underground to eat them. And I want this talk about Darkspawn enslaving survivors to stop immediately. Keep your minds focused on the battle. You fight for Ferelden and for your king. Remember that. He does not have quite the gravitas of the sergeant in Mass Effect 2 talking about Isaac Newton being the deadliest son of a bitch in the galaxy. Just, just can't compare. You approach the tent of Town Logain. State your business. <laughs> He's got a more professional guard than the one guarding the king, so. He's inside, but I don't think it's my place to discuss his activity. Just tell me one little thing. I suppose, as long as we talk quietly. He and the king have been arguing for days. The Tern's known the king since he was swaddled, so they don't stand on ceremony. The Tern speaks his mind, and the king yells right back. Personally, I think the king should do what Tern Logang tells him. Without the Tern, we wouldn't be doing as well here as we are. Hmm. I suppose you have a message for him. Hold on, then. What, that actually worked? Yes, what is it? Oh, you're Duncan's new Grey Warden, I assume. Yep. Kalen's fascination with the Wardens goes beyond the ordinary. Are you aware his father brought your order back to Ferelden? Uh, they aren't actually my order yet, so... N no. Marek respected the Grey Wardens. They have an honored place in the hearts of our people. But Marek would have understood that it takes more than legends to win a battle. That's not an argument I'll repeat here. I see you're a Dalish. Marek knew a Dalish elf once. Never saw an equal with the bow before or since. And I suppose you'll be riding into the thick of battle with the rest of your fellows, will you? Uh... No. <laughs> you're wiser than you look. What? Now I must return to my task. Pray that our king proves amenable to wisdom, if you're the praying sort. I am not. And yet the fate of the Grey Wardens lies in his hands. Remember that. <laughs> oh, I think I'm in love with that. The charm. 
the sophistication, the disdain. So hot. Might have to ask my buddy if she wants a piece of that. You found our tent, I see. Is there something you need? Questions? Alistair can help you with those. Oh. I had hoped he would be back by now. That's my way of saying I don't want to talk to you. Alright, let's keep doing our little circle. Hello? Alright, we got some racial tensions. Welcome to the King's Camp, my lady. Oh, thank you. Hello? Hail. You're one of Duncan's new recruits, correct? I can't let you through to the Korkari Wilds until he gives the word. The Korkari Wilds is a dangerous place, more so now that it crawls with Darkspawn. They say the Great Blight began deep within its forests. One of our scouting patrols has been gone for three days. We're taking bets on who got them first, the Darkspawn or the Witches of the Wilds. Fun guy. Oh, sure. There's an old legend in these parts about Flemeth, the apostate sorceress who conquered this area centuries ago. She united the chasing barbarians and invaded the farmlands. That's when the great hero, Cormac, destroyed her army with his. Took her head right off, so they say. Her daughters survived and became the Witches of the Wild. Tales tell of them plaguing this area since, mostly superstitions, stealing babies and spoiling milk. Uh, stealing babies and spoiling milk are kind of like opposite ends of the spectrum. Is there is there no middle ground for the witches? I don't know. Only when it's dark and the wind is bad. No doubt those patrols met some darkspawn. That's enough for anyone to worry about. At any rate, that's why Duncan doesn't want you wandering out without his say-so. Well, you don't have to editorialize. A simple no would have sufficed. What else? Huh. Hello? You there, Elf. What's your name? Fuck uh, you is my it, name. It's Pick, sir. Go oh. tell Turnlow Gain that the war party's ready to begin scouting. We'll send word if we find anything amiss. Yes, sir. R right away, sir. Hey, where you going? You don't have to take that. No, come back. Stop it, you're not a slave. Hello? I I'm sorry, is there something you needed? Yes, I need your rebellion. I deliver messages around the camp. You have a message for me? My message is Viva Revolution! Then what is... Oh, wait. Are you the one I'm supposed to give Sir Garland's sword to? Because I think the smith's done with it. Yes. Oh, that's such a relief. You really saved me from the switch for sure. I'd best get back to my duties again before I get in more trouble. Oh, snap. I've never actually done that before, and I've played this game a couple of times. Stole someone's sword. Awesome. Hello? If you have business with the Ash Warriors, I suggest you speak to our commander. Ah, okay. Hi. Maker's breath. Another elf. What do you want? Yeah, what's your Not deal? in particular, except for them being so thin-boned. You make good messengers sometimes. Is there something you wanted? We have no time for idle chatter. Well then, make time. We aren't. We're Ash Warriors. Our training has been passed down since Lathias the Dwarf's son first harnessed the battle rage of the Dwarves. It is an old tale. Cannot hear this tale. I am no bard, but I will do my best. Matthias was a clan tribesman. Some said he was too short to be a warrior, but he was strong and fierce. His chieftain sent him to the dwarves of Orzammar to negotiate an alliance, where he fell in love with the king's daughter, Skya, and brought her back to his tribe. She taught Matthias to use the dwarven battle wrath to summon his strength and ignore all pain. Matthias then taught this to the clan who made him their chieftain. And they feasted on blood and lived happily ever Not after. Not in this tale, friend. Because we killed Matthias's you. prowess earned him the love of Morrigana, a beautiful chieftain of another tribe. When Skaia learned of his seduction, she returned to her people. Matthias was grieved. He sent Morrigana away, but this only vexed her and began a long war between their tribes. In the end, Matthias slew Morrigana in single combat. However, his wounds were great, and he perished when the rage ended. The dwarves came from Orzammar that day 
and gave Lathias an honored burial in the mountains. And we live by his teachings even today. And the wife? It is said that before the final battle, she returned to Luthias and gave him a shirt of dwarven chain along with a final night of passion. Nice. Then she was gone forever. If she lived on in Orzammar, only the dwarven folk could say for certain. A new shirt and he got some. Good job, buddy. He was a great man with great passions. Perhaps you'll hear a more inspiring version in a tavern someday. Nah, I like the version where my people killed all the clans people. They use scent to distinguish us from our enemies. But the blood of battle can confuse them. So we paint ourselves with Cadiz, which overpowers the blood, and also paint our hounds so they know we are the same. So you stink of dog. <laughs> Why? Would you steal our Cadiz and give it to the Darkspawn hordes? Yes. We would kill you if you tried. Even if you succeeded, the monsters would only offer death as your reward. Noted. To scout the wilds and watch the progression of the Darkspawn horde. With luck, we'll find and slaughter many stragglers. The hunt will be good if my hound survives the blood of his prey. If he dies, I shall mourn tonight. And then get a new one. Darkspawn blood is poisonous, but not always fatal. Those who survive grow immune to its effects. The Wardens say the tainted blood drives even the survivors mad eventually. But not today. Today, we hunt and we kill. But not today. They fight at our side. We don't fret over their safety as if they were children. Yeah, I'm out. My thanks. There is hunting to be done, and I'll not be kept from it. But you did enjoy my idle chatter, so... Hmm, this isn't good. I'd hate to waste such a promising member of the breed. Are you the new warden? I could use some help. Uh, what's up? This is a Mabari. Smart breed and strong. His owner died in the last battle, and the poor hound swallowed darkspawn blood. I have medicine that might help, but I need him muzzled first. Why do you think I would be good at that? You're a grey warden, or soon will be. All wardens are immune to the darkspawn taint. The most you have to worry about is some tooth marks. Also infection and being ripped to shred by dogs, but all by dogs. Centuries ago, a mage bred them to be smart and understand what they're told. They can remember and carry out complex orders. Most valuable dogs in the world. Trouble is, they generally imprint to one master. Reimprinting them is very difficult. But without the medicine, re-imprinting won't be an issue. Will you help? Uh, can I have him? We can try, but first we need to muzzle and medicate him. Oh, always with the business. What's wrong? Go in the pen and let him smell you. We'll know right away if he'll respond. Let's hope this works. I'd really hate to have to put him down. Oh, it's a puppy. Oh, we're gonna muzzle him. Oh, no! No, it's okay, buddy! Well done. Now I can treat the dog properly, poor fella. Come to think of it, are you heading into the wilds anytime soon? Probably. There's a particular herb I could use to improve the dog's chances. It's a flower that grows in the swamps here, if I remember. If you happen across it, I could use it. It's very distinctive, all white, with a blood-red center. Do you think I have nothing better We're to do? We're all busy. As it is, if we can get this hound better, we can re-imprint him on someone. Even you, if you like. Oh, well played. I, I can be seduced by a free dog. It usually grows in dead wood that collects at the edge of ground pools. Should be plenty this time of year. Oh, I'll just cut to the chase. Good. In the meantime, I'll begin treating our poor friend. Yes. Free dog. Maker above, hear the prayers of your sons and daughters. We who betrayed your prophet Andraste now beg your forgiveness. Do not abandon us in our darkest hour. 
Uh, Watch over the valiant church started. King Hello. And guide him as he faces. Greetings, young lady. You are Duncan's newest recruit, are you not? He's not a man easily impressed. You should be proud. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wynne, one of the mages summoned by the king. I am Vicarian. Well met, and good luck to you on the battlefield. To us all, in fact. It's not luck, but skill that will save us. And I'm sure you have plenty of that to offer. To defeat the Darkspawn, we have to work together. It's not an idea everyone seems able to grasp. How much do you know about Darkspawn? Some. Do you? Do you know about the connection between them and the Fade, for example? Ugh, oh, now you're just making me feel stupid. Anytime your spirit leaves your earthly body, whether it's to dream or to die, it passes into the realm we call the Fade. It's home to many spirits, some benevolent, others far less so. At the heart of the Fade lies the Black City. What's a Black City? Some say the Black City was once the seat of the Maker. But when the mages from the Tevinter Imperium found a way into the city, it was tainted with their sin. That taint transformed those men, turning them into twisted reflections of their own hearts. And the Maker cast them back to the Earth, where they became the first Darkspawn. At least, that's what the Chant of Light says. And is that true? It may be allegory, meant to teach us that our own evil causes human suffering. Or it may be true. It is as good an explanation as any for now. Uh, I don't think so. Do you have proper advice? Advice? Never. You young ones know all there is to know about the world anyway. Why would you need advice from an elder? But I'm certain Duncan has more for you to do than talk to me. Watch you don't want to talk to me, just to bring say so. Bring us victory against the scourge of shadow. Watch over what do we got? The whole I'm sorry. But the mages must not be interrupted. Whoa. They are doing a whole lot of cocaine over there. It was a blizzard of coke. <laughs> Soldiers of Ferelden, my sisters and gentle folk. The Magi Coke Den. Alright. Let's go over here. Ah, hello. He's in a rather seductive pose for someone injured. I think he's trying to get with, uh, to get with nurse, nurse, nurse over here. You may not want to remain here long, Warden. Most of these men have been tainted by the Darkspawn blood. Oh, someone! Yes, someone what? These are very festive circus tents that they have set up. Sorry, miss. The army camp is off limits for you right now. Welcome to the king's camp, my lady. The king wants reinforcements from the Orlesian Grey Wardens. Frankly, I doubt we'll need them after Aww. tomorrow. Crap. Andraste, I bless you today. I do not have time to speak at present. In Thank you. Eyes. Whoa, so okay. Oh, hello. We're all huh. Someone finally comes and talks to the lone prisoner. I don't suppose you've come to sentence me. Uh, no. I don't suppose you have a bit of kindness in you? No. All I want is food and water. They haven't fed me since I was locked up and I'm starving. Oh, that is actually kind of sad. Why are you in there? I'm a deserter. Or so they think. I bet there's no arguing them out of it, though. Armies are funny that way. Hilarious. I bet you're as innocent as the sunrise. I wasn't deserting. But when you catch someone sneaking around camp in the middle of the night, what else are you going to think? Does it matter? All I want is a bit of food and water. Would you take that tone with me? <laughs> oh, that's sweet of you, dearie. How about you marry me instead? At least I could get a kiss before they hang me. <gasps> and it's not as no. if they're wrong. I probably would have deserted later. Just not when they caught me is all. Hope that doesn't spoil your opinion of me. I'm still hungry enough to eat my shoe. Back to the hunger thing. 
Um, why have they not fed you? I expect nobody thought of it with all the battles and such. Because you might want something I don't need. Them circle wizards got a chest they keep things in. Magical things. Okay. And I stole the key. That's why I'm here. I got one of them drunk, took his key, and tried to sneak to the chest. They assumed I was deserting. I can't use it from here. But I'd trade you for some food and water. Wait, how did they not find this key? I swallowed it. No. Oh. But it's, uh, come back into my possession since then, Aww. so to speak. Alright, uh, I will get you... Get you some food in exchange for your poop key. Just ask my guard for his. He's still got some dinner. I saw him put it in his coat. Lucky dog. You great wardens get to ride with the king while I'm left with the drudgery of guarding this deserter. They should have just hanged him. Put his head on a pike as an example. Uh, okay. It does seem like a waste. You seem like a noble, adventurous nondescript man. I can't just let him go, can I? The army will figure out what to do with him. Probably just waiting for someone important to make a decision. Then they'll hang him, I expect. And I can go and do something else. Christ, it just takes forever! They say he was recruited before the war up in Dinnerham. Probably figured he'd never have to fight if he served the king, right? I had a chat with him. It was lovely. He proposed. Don't expect it was an enlightening conversation. You don't know me. Did he now? Since nobody sends me nothing to feed him with, the only way we'll get that is if I give him mine. Well, you look a little fat, so why don't you donate it? All right, all right. I guess the poor fella could stand to have one meal in his belly before he hangs. <laughs> don't know why you care. Yes. Right, nothing to do with it, though. If anyone asks why he's burping, I'm going to say it was you. Just so you know. Yes, it's funnier when they're hung for them to evacuate their bowels. It's much funny. So? Brought me some food, have you? I'm so hungry I could faint dead away. Please don't. Much obliged. May Andraste herself rain blessings upon you. And, as I mentioned, here's the key. Use it in good health, huh? I'm going to go cleanse it with fire, thank you. Oh, hello. Jewelry. Greetings. You must be the third recruit we've heard about. Third? How many are there? Not a great deal. We've been waiting for your arrival, though. Sir Jury is my name. I hail from Redcliffe, where I served as knight under the command of Arl Eamon. I wasn't aware elves could join the Grey Wardens. Those camped in the valley are all human. Yeah, well, makes me better. I did not mean to offend you. Clearly your skills have impressed Duncan. I hope we're both lucky enough to eventually join the Wardens. Is it not thrilling to be given that chance? No, I'm actually cool with just not dying. I fought hard to get here. Impressing Duncan was not easy. Tell me, has anyone told you what this joining ritual entails? They have not. I never heard of such a ritual. I had no idea there were more tests after getting recruited. I suppose since you're finally here, I'd best get back to Duncan. I shall see you there. All right. So there's three of them. Uh, which, no, there's three of us. There's one more guy. Ah, I suspect you are one of the new Grey Wardens. Will you accept the Maker's blessing? Uh, do you administer blessings to elves? I merely pass on the Maker's blessings. He looks kindly on all who will receive him. I'm actually really distracted by how stacked she is, but we'll carry on. Um, uh, we'll take his blessing. We'll be a smart ass later. Then I bless you, Grey Warden, in the name of Andraste and the Maker above. May the chant of light carry your name to the ears of our Lord. Alright. See ya. Right, I have a key and a new sword actually. Where is that? Damn, nineteen strength. I gotta go oh, hit the gym. Any last wishes I can help fulfill. Life is fleeting, you know. That pretty face could be decorating some dark spawn spear this time tomorrow. Whoa. Shall I take that quiet glare as a no? Ah oh, well, 
Too bad. Ah, oh, I've never wanted him more. Who is well, this? Well, you're not what I thought you'd be. Not an elf. Yet, here you are. The name's Davith. <laughs> it's about bloody time you came along. I was beginning to think they'd cook this ritual up just for our benefit. Yes, it's hilarious. <laughs> that depends on what kind of life you've led. Me, I'm perfectly willing to accept that this joining is some kind of punishment. I happened to be sneaking around camp last night, see, and I heard a couple of Grey Wardens talking. So, I listen in for a bit. I'm thinking they plan to send us into the wilds. Well, this I already know. Cannibals, beasts, witches, and now Darkspawn. What isn't to be scared of? It's all too secretive for me. Makes my nose twitch. I guess we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> like we have a choice. You take what you get, right? Anyway, I expect it's time to get back to Duncan. That's where I'll be if you need me for anything. Okay. Oh, so, so dreamy. How could I not? I can open that chest. Great. Hello. You there, elf. Where's my armor? And why are you dressed so preposterously? Because fuck you. Your... Oh, yes, of course. I... Uh, please, forgive my rudeness. He's wearing flannel. There are so many elves running about, and I've been waiting for... Oh, it's simply been so hectic. Uh, I never thought... P please, pardon my terrible manners. I, uh, I am just the quartermaster. A simple man. No one special. Ye yes, of course, you're very right. Uh, did you come for some supplies, perhaps? Uh, yeah, sure. Arms and armor, for the most part. It's for the king's men, but uh, you Grey Wardens can buy what you need for a modest price. I also have some, uh... <clears throat> goods on the side I can provide. Oh my. Strictly off the record, of course. To keep morale up, you understand. <laughs> I'm a little frightened by what that could be. Could be. Uh, let's see what your other goods are. So long are. as you keep it quiet. Okay. Bunch of stuff. Bunch of bolts. Oh, this is one of my, uh... Uh, downloaded mod things, which is not quite an improvement over what I already have, sadly. Boots. That stuff, however, looks rad. I'm gonna actually stick with what I got for now. All right, anyway. Bow. Do not need a fancy base. Actually, maybe I will buy that pretty armor. For the sole purpose of, it looks cool. 